All right, into custom packs for another uh, five of a kind attempt. And um, I've not really been trying to get them very often, to be honest. This is another run where uh, I was going for the uh, turn seven eagle and I didn't get it. But here we get the ostrich straight away and I instantly level it to level two, um, which is dramatically going to improve how uh, strong it is. And here I decide not to buy the alpaca or the uh, turkey yet because I just want to let the ostrich get the extra scaling. Maybe not advisable, probably should have bought one of them because you're only getting an extra plus two, two I think it is. But here, despite the ink, we're gonna have enough uh, in the tank to beat that uh, opponent. So now, gotta buy alpaca. If you're not going uh, chicken or you're not going for like five scaling pets um alpaca is probably realistically your only uh option for trying to get a um a five of a kind in custom packs with the way things are at the moment uh, maybe there are some others that could be done that i can't think of off the top of my head but um generally speaking these days people are just doing it via uh <laughs> via shop scaling unfortunately there we lose by one hp however we do get the alpaca level um which is the all important uh factor in getting these types of runs now ostrich kind of an awkward pet in that you know you have to free stuff in the shop i think here i just take the deer because i can get a double level up um and we actually get oyster so that's pretty good helps look for other stuff is chicken but I, i'm not going to use it and i think here although i could freeze all the tier sixes okay i do decide to do it obviously the problem with ostrich is that um you know if you're freezing stuff in the shop it's going to be difficult to find them all however the alpaca um triggering two level ups per turn basically uh in, you know dramatically increases your chances of finding ostriches so I guess that would be, what, a 1 in 5 per turn if you're getting double level ups every turn. Uh, maybe that's wrong, but um, anyway, here's a Poison Dart Frog team, which uh, you don't see all that often. Uh, and I should mention that uh, although I started on uh, turn 9 here, the video is a little bit longer because there's some extra clips at the end. Uh, I've got another one another run to show but also there were some runs posted in uh, Haps Discord that I completely forgot to include in a previous uh, video so um, they will be uh, attached to this one. Now here we get the second ostrich and you can actually see with the the first ostrich it's it's accelerating it's scaling so quickly that really there's not really you know there, there's never any reason for me to um, try and freeze the entire shop of tier sixes because it's going to get to 50 50 very very quickly and then its ability is going to do absolutely nothing so here i buy sell the crow i think i do actually buy the chocolate at some point here and you can see uh, although i had four tier tier sixes i just unfreeze them all because finding the ostriches is way more important than um uh, than the scaling, which we can probably, you know, with the last three or four rolls, we can probably get enough that the, uh, we're only on turn 12 at the moment. So although it is custom packs and it is quite nasty, um, you know, we've still got a decent chance. I think here I just take the lionfish just to um, increase my chances of winning. We get the, the, the full shop and I actually give up on the level two chocolate there. Probably possibly could have kept the octopus, but again, you know they're getting plus ten ten a turn, so the 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 level the first one is going to be at um, almost a fifty fifty already. And here's the first nurse shark opponent. Um, you know what can you do? Just instant deletes the uh, the thirty thirty. But thankfully, the rest of their team is uh, bad enough. I guess they were probably trying to use nurse shark to get the horse achievement there. I don't know why. I mean, you can easily get the horse achievement in pack one. But anyway, we get another ostrich in the shop, which is uh, pretty necessary. And now we're going to have to sell the weasel so that we've got um, sl slots open for more, more alpaca buy sells. And I do freeze the, um, the sauropods here and the alpaca because we can then reset the trigger count. And 
now I should just sell the uh, yeah, sell the weasel, and I think I buy the sauropod because um, you know if there's a chocolate or something, uh, you could and you could um, discount it and uh, get a little bit of extra value out of it. Uh, this this game is from a little while ago. I can't really remember exactly the sequence, but we're just going to sell the sauropod and then buy buy the oyster and. Um, the alpaca's run out of triggers now, so I, I could have, I should have really bought the alpaca first there before the oyster. So that was a, obviously a mistake. Um, <laughs> and now I can't decide what I'm going to buy. Just, just take the, uh, just take the. Um, oh, am I going to risk it since I'm on two lives? Okay, so a little bit questionable, but maybe not the worst decision. Uh, we're gonna, we've got our fifty-fifty ostrich anyway. So we have a decent chance um, to beat a variety of teams and actually we're lucky here that their biggest unit is the shark at the back. We could have easily lost there so that was quite risky and definitely a misplay not to get the oyster. But I find the fourth ostrich here. So now I'm looking for something to use the first alpaca trigger on before um, swapping them in and actually I roll the, the next ostrich. So here what I can do is buy the first one and then um, combine two of them together and I think it will do it on the weakest one um, to accelerate its scaling and I don't think I have the uh, level 3 ostrich I have the badge but not the ribbon so now we've got four level 2 or higher ostriches however now um, we need to you know we're, we need to open up the shop slots to try and uh, find the last ostrich, assuming we win the next uh, battle. So here we're another alpaca team, um, but thankfully again they also have the um, the biggest unit at the back. And now we just got to find the last ostrich. And I guess maybe I could throw, you know, if I had to, I could put the um, I could put the fifty fifty at the back. But the problem is, then if I throw, then it'll be an, you know it's another turn later into custom packs, and I don't have any in battle abilities. Although we do have a lot of melon, there are plenty of teams that are going to have fifty fifties, and also stuff like leopard or um, you know uh, stuff that actually has in battle uh, in combat abilities. I guess would be the easiest way to say it. Um, so we get the level one ostrich. We get four frozen tier 5 plus which is uh, good enough and we go into battle with um, with still only one 50-50 and we get matched with this team which at the time I was absolutely seething to see that because that player actually misplayed they they had their dodo um, at the was it at the back so it was giving 50 it was giving attack to something that already had 50 attack even though there were pets on the team that didn't have uh, the full attack and um, yeah you can see here we run out of there's nothing left to buy and I'm just going to freeze everything up um, on the off chance that we draw uh, <laughs> but um, thankfully we get the complete opposite situation where we get matched with a scaling team that has no equipment at all and uh, we get the five ostriches win plus the ribbon as well so here's an extra run and this one was a um, uh, a scaling game, a chicken scaling game. So turn 19 and um, I actually get extremely lucky here with finding oysters and finding uh, marmosets in order to um, fill up the whole team. And I think, uh, yeah, I'm optimistically freezing the, uh, the two uh, equipment items there because I might get a draw, but with five, no 50-50s, and nobody has any equipment, our chances are not very good. And we get matched with this tur horrendous looking turkey team, which actually is really bad for turn 19. Um, however, they get the walrus spawn from the eagle, which is so depressing. Uh, so I actually had a, a reasonable chance to win that game, um, despite the team, my team being horrible.
And then we've got four extra clips that uh, were posted in HAPS Discord quite a while ago and I completely missed them. And um, these are all from Space Banana, uh, uh, whose alternate name is uh, shown on screen and I don't know how to say it. But um, we have Blue Ringed Octopus, Pteranodon and uh, Cobra, all from uh, Golden Pack. And then um, there is also Goat. And I've had a four goat win before where I just couldn't find the last one, but uh, that's another one done for the master list of five of a kinds.